Okay, I want to show an example here of a call first campaign in Apollo. So basically use case is the first touch in the sequence is going to be a call from either an SDR or an outsourced sales rep or something. And then we're going to want to automate things from there. So the reason why you might want to do this call first approach can work well sometimes. I mean, it can be like the best way to qualify or disqualify an account leaving a voicemail and then following up with an email after that can boost response rates a lot of times on the email. Other thing is if you're using your SDRs on your team or maybe some outsourced SDR people that are making calls, maybe you don't want them to have to learn a whole bunch of things in Apollo and make a lot of decisions because they're going to mess a lot of stuff up, to be honest with you. So here we're using the call disposition yield to basically trigger a bunch of things happening based on the outcome of the call. So to try to automate things and make it simpler for them, keep the data cleaner and follow up on the leads better. So that's why we're using a workflow. We don't want, these people are not gonna be experts in Apollo necessarily. Basically the idea is they make the call, they pick a disposition depending upon what happens, and then we're gonna kick off an automation. So. I have an example that I'm going to show you in a second in Apollo and how to build that out. But as an example, like first one here, we actually left somebody a voicemail. We got a, a real number that worked. And now the next step is we want to enroll them in another sequence like, hey, this is Jeremy following up on the voicemail I just left you earlier. And maybe that email goes out like a couple hours later or something like that. But we don't always know if we're gonna be able to leave a voicemail or not. So that's why you, you might pick, use that call disposition to kind of kick off that sequence. Um, or, hey, we find find the company's not a fit. Let's have the, just the, the dialer just select that as a disposition. And then other things are gonna happen in the background of Apollo. We'll mark that account is not a fit. We'll remove people from sequences, cancel other emails, all sorts of things. We don't want the caller to have to worry about that and do it or waste time or have other emails still going out to that account. That's another one, or if it's not the right contact or whatever. So I'll show you a bunch of different examples I, I built for a client here um, that kind of does that. So it's gonna start with creating some custom call dispositions and then workflows based off of that. So if I go into this Apollo instance here, basically you go over to sales engagement, dialer, and then this is where all your call dis dispositions lie. So Apollo has a bunch of default ones in here. You know, you can delete, remove any ones, edit ones, or top right, add a disposition, and you can kind of create them there. So for this company, and they were very particular about with the ways they want to do things. So if we can connect somebody, we'll leave a voicemail, account not a fit, good call, connected positive, not interested. Sometimes you can't find a phone number on the account record or whatever. So we'll treat that a certain way. We'll drop those people into an email only sequence that's not going to talk about a voicemail that we left them. And maybe there's some other ones here like, oh, we found you're working with this competitor, like here's a follow up and follow up email on how we compare to them or whatever. Uh, so there's, you know, the sky's the limit on things you might want to do here. So if I go, let's go over to the workflows. So I have a bunch of workflows in here. So if I search by this, so just, so just examples here, but basically so this account turns out they're not a fit or whatever. What we're going to want to do at that point is kick off basically any saved contact there. It's just going to turn the account stage to do not prospect and then remove any. We have another one to remove people from those sequences. So anytime a, comp a company is do not prospect, it's just going to clear everything out. Left a message. So this is another one where uh, sometimes if... In this instance, okay, we found the right person's phone number. So we logged a call. We so The rep selected the disposition, left a voicemail. So now what's going to happen is it triggers the next action. So it was a just left the guy a voicemail. So now we have a specific sequence followed a voicemail message. And if, you, if I went to that sequence, it would have information. 
you know, the, the first line is, hey, Joe left you a voicemail earlier today, blah, 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 like all that stuff. So obviously we can't assume we're going to be leaving people's voicemails because sometimes they don't have voicemails, wrong phone number, whatever. But in this, if the rep picks that, it's going to drop them into a brand new sequence based off of these call tasks. Another, so there's other examples like that. If there's no phone number found on the record, we'll just drop them into an email only sequence, call again tomorrow. Basically this one, uh, if the rep looks at the rep contact record and accounts like, oh, this is a good prospect, didn't get a hold of them, maybe didn't want to, is trying to reach out to them again, just he collects this or clicks this disposition and it creates a, another call task form the next day. This is, that's the way they wanted to do that. And then if you have a positive call, I have another workflow here where basically, so they're going to select log the call, select co connected positive. And then what happens is it's going to update the account status to active opportunity and remove all contacts from all the sequences. Default rules in the background already where if an account is an active opportunity, Paul is not going to send any emails to them anyway, but this is just another thing where it kind of cleans things up and clears out those existing sequences. So, and then if you want to look, I probably should have shown this before, but if you don't know how, here's a call task here. Let's say I log this call. This is where you find the call sequences. So if I, if I have a rep that's really phone based, he would just be coming in here, looking at his, all, all his call tasks. He can assign them or sort it by priority. So we might have different rules too, where maybe if there's custom accounts that are high scores, it'll give a high priority or if they've opened up a certain number of emails or whatever, but basically just making calls, clicking this disposition in here, have a great call. So this way the rep doesn't have to worry about, okay, what fields do I, what other fields do I change in Apollo? What do I do? Like this, we've dumbed it down for, for people that are just making calls and focused on that and focused on this screen. And then it triggers other things to happen in the background. So hopefully uh, that's helpful. If you need help uh, with Apollo in general, reach out.